Hey, what's up, bros? NZG here. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In this Red Dead Online video, I'm going to be showing you, bros, a brand new method with an old glitch that I found um, using three players. So um, it was an old glitch that I found that you dropped a large pelt on the ground and then you joined another person that in a different lobby that was standing in the same location as you. And then um, after you joined that person, that pelt was also in that lobby. And then if you picked it up and moved it to the side, you then joined back to the original lobby that you began the glitch in and you would be able to see two pelts on the ground. But your friend that was standing there um, AFK or standing there waiting for you would only still be able to see one that you'd be able to pick up that pelt and put it on your horse and then run into the stable with it and then run out or flee your horse and then call it back out. And then your friend would be able to see two pelts. Okay, so like this is similar to that, except this one's going to be a little bit more different and you are going to be the only one that's going to be able to see the pelt that you store. So I guess what I mean is if you're the one doing the glitch, you're going to be the one that's going to be dropping the pelt on the ground and hopping lobbies all the time because you're going to be the only one that's going to be able to see the pelt that you actually put in your wagon or stole on your horse. So you want to go ahead and start up a Harriet mission anyway and get like a pelt. And then once you get the pelt, so we got the legendary shadow buck pelt, uh, you want to get your friend to come and stand where you are. Okay, and then you want to get another friend to go and stand in that exact same location but in a different lobby. So my friend actually has two accounts, so I'm just going to go ahead and join his other account, which is standing in a different lobby, but in this exact location. All right, so once you do join that friend, so I did skip a little bit of footage, but don't worry, I will do it one time at the end to show you bros that it only takes two minutes to do this once. You then want to go down to your stables and go to your vehicles and call out your hunting wagon and look in the opposite direction which you want it to come and it will come in the direction that you want it to come so it will come from behind you and then if you stay still enough it'll pretty much come right to you you're then just going to go ahead and stow that small pelt that only you can see by the way my friend on the right there could not see that pelt and now i have five so obviously i did just have four and once you've stowed that in your wagon or stowed it on your horse, you're going to go ahead and join back to your friend that was in the lobby where you began the glitch in. So the pelt is still on the ground in this lobby. So we run back and I'll show you, see the pelt is right on the ground. So before we do it again, we do have to pick it up. Just take a few steps and then just drop the pelt. That's all you have to do. If you don't do that, it just might not merge over to the lobby if you try and hop over to the other lobby again without picking it up and dropping it. But once you do pick it up and drop it, you just go back to your players list again and join back to that friend that is standing in the other lobby in this location though. And then once again, once you get into his lobby, um, he should still be standing there. Uh, if he's AFK, just make sure he's going into the catalog or something so he doesn't lag out. But as soon as you get here again, sort of stand away from the pelt and look in the opposite direction and call your wagon. That way when you turn around, it should be coming from behind you. You can just run over to the pelt and by the time you've actually picked up the pelt, your wagon should like, be pretty much at your character. So you just have to run up to the back of it again and stow the small pelt in there. And then now we should have six pelts. So the reason why we're showing you how to do it this way is because you can store a lot of these pelts in your wagon, okay? You can store, I think it must be up to about 50, I'm pretty sure. But you can store a lot of those pelts in your wagon anyway, and those are the legendary pelts, by the way. So uh, once you stored like as many of, as you want of this pelt, you can then go ahead and hunt one of the other ones and you can do it with another pelt and you can get quite a bit of cash doing this, I believe. So once again, we're back here again and I'll do it properly now like we won't skip any footage. Okay, we've dropped the pelt. I joined the friend's session. So it actually only takes a couple of minutes, like I said, to do it once. 
because this loading screen right here, it doesn't actually take too long. It's just like a 30, I think, to 45 second loading screen. So yeah, once you do load in anyway, like you run over to your friend and the pelt will be, bit, be there, but don't run over to him yet unless you're using your horse to do this. Like if you don't have a hunting wagon, obviously just whistle for your horse and then uh, get your horse to come and then put the pelt on your horse. But if you have the hunting wagon, I definitely suggest um, putting loads of these in your hunting wagon as well. And uh, yeah, also put them on your horse because you can store quite a bit of pelts on the back of your horse I believe so you're gonna go ahead and pick it up again and then stow it in the back and now we should have seven so you can go ahead and do this pretty much well not as many times as you like but you can do this a lot of times and then take your wagon over to Gus and sell all the pelts so once your bros have stored that one just go ahead and join back to your friend in the lobby that you began the glitch in so that is the lobby with the original pelt on the ground and your friend in that lobby can see the pelt on the ground but the friend in the lobby which you store the pelt in cannot see the pelt on the ground okay only you can see the pelt on the ground so i hope you bros did go ahead and enjoy this video anyway obviously like as you see it doesn't take too long to do it once um, so you bros can go, definitely go ahead and um, probably get a max amount of pelts in under an hour for sure and then go ahead and just just do it with all your mates. So this is probably better to do, I suppose, if it's at least three of yous. If it's only two of yous, yous are going to um, find this a little bit difficult to do. But uh, yeah, you need at least three people. Um, that is the bummer about it. But it is a really good glitch, a really dope method. So I hope you bros did enjoy it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.